Hey, what is up guys? It is Appalling, and I'm bringing you a very interesting gameplay today. So, um, I have a challenge coming out that you guys will hopefully see soon that involves using only one kind of tower. Um, this is not that challenge, but I did use primarily one, like I used one tower um, predominantly. I used it more than the rest of them. So you'll get, you guys will get to see that in this. And interestingly, I used the Tack Shooter. This is one of the things that gave me the idea for the series, in fact. And so... This is, uh, you'll, you'll see in a little bit how absolutely powerful tax shooters are, actually. <laughs> I, I didn't realize how good they were, because I very rarely use them, but it was interesting to see. So that's that's where the challenge is coming out. Um, that's on my Twitter, so or it will be uh, when I get it all together and start posting. I'll put that on my Twitter, so follow me. It's just at Lola Pauling. It's pretty easy to find, um, but hopefully you guys will be able to see that soon. In the meantime, I have this gameplay for you. So... I start out, I'm versus, it looks like Jared Jaden, and he's going with bananas, so I'm just kind of, I'm trying to be as annoying as possible. If he's going to go bananas, the, the like best strategy to do is just try and be super annoying. Just send bottom row all the way across, and you can see I'm, I'm doing that, and I'm actually switching a little bit back and forth, because if it's just bottom row, he can have time to pop them, but if he has both, it's a lot harder to do. You can see some of them are getting passed, so I'm going back and forth, and uh, at the same time I have to worry about my defenses. But the main thing here is I'm trying to keep pressure on him. So I'm just going along, and he's lost a couple of lives already. Not not a ton of lives. Like, it's not a huge amount of pressure here, but at the same time, he can't just kind of sit back and relax because he's started to lose them. He hasn't been able to upgrade his farm except that one time. So clearly the pressure's starting to get to him a little bit. He hasn't been able to do what he wants to do here. He's had to build a whole bunch of monkeys. Whereas I, on the other hand, I've been doing all right with just tax shooter and, and ninja. Um, you can see he's starting to send some blacks back because he's trying to get me with that same strategy. And uh, I've already put down my tax. It It is certainly annoying. And so I put this guy up. I figure he's going to be able to put lightning down and uh, that'll help a little bit. And he'll also be able to take care of the stragglers, which is great. That's kind of what I need him for, at least for now. Um, he'll also be really good at taking out leads because right now I have nothing to take out leads. Now, the Ring of Fire, the tax shooter, the 4-2 tax shooter can see leads and it can pop them easily however it cannot see camo which is one of the major problems with a lot of the the uh, towers in this game is they either can't see camo or they can't pop leads or both in some cases so there are some things that have like major weaknesses um, which makes the challenge even more uh, interesting I guess but that's not what we're on right now right now we're on this gameplay you can see I'm, I'm only at about 400 eco because i've been sending him stupid stuff i've been sending pinks and blacks instead of blues um so i also haven't spent anything or haven't sent him anything in a while because i had to put down my wizard i upgraded my wizard to lightning and now i'm just kind of saving up i'm waiting because i'm gonna get the ring of fire on that tax shooter i know that it's good and i know that it's really good versus balloons now at this point he could rainbow rush me so i'm also a little bit wary of that but he doesn't which is interesting. I think he's just happy to finally have his farm up and running the way he wants it to. So I go ahead and upgrade here, and I figure I'm going to be fine for a while. With that Ring of Fire, I should be perfectly fine. So I'm just chilling, doing my own thing. You can see it just decimates everything. <laughs> Anything that starts to get anywhere, just instantly, boom, it's popped. So that's great. And I go ahead and put in two more here. I'm planning on upgrading both of those a little bit later, but for now, they just kind of sit, do their thing. I have some money to get, and then at the same time, I need to be sending eco. So you can see he sent a bunch of pinks, now I wait, I'm going to send more pinks, and I'm just trying to get my eco up. It's around 15, I don't even have 500 eco. That's that's not good. I figure 500 at round 15 is pretty much the bare minimum that you can get away with. If you're doing eco, you need to have 500 by round 15. That's just like, otherwise it's not really worth doing eco. So that's what we're doing. Um, it'd be nice to have a lot more, but we're just kind of chilling and waiting. You can see... Um, I've been slowly increasing it, I'm, I'm getting my way up there, and then eventually I'll have to get other things. But right now, it's camo, and only my ninja and my wizard can see camo, so I'm struggling just a little bit on that front. There's not a whole bunch I can do, really, because my tax shooters can't see them. I could put in a helicopter, but honestly, I don't really need it. It doesn't, it doesn't make a lot of sense to do. I'd rather just get another ring of fire, so I'm chilling and waiting. You can see, even with all the stuff uh, that the game is sending and that he's sending, still doing just perfectly fine. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to upgrade my monkey and give him flash bomb, and I've decided that I think I do. Um, partially because when you stun them inside of that uh, ring of fire, that does major work. Like that just uh, watch it. Do you do you see that right there? 
Do you see how much damage that does? You wish that your towers could do that much damage, but they can't. Unless you do the same strategy. I mean, then they do the exact same. It's not like I have towers that are hacked or anything. That'd be nice. Um, but you can see that it's actually quickly become one of my favorite combos if the map allows. A lot of maps don't allow it, but we're, we're just kind of chugging along here. I have lightning. That's kind of like my death zone right there is because I have the ring of fire, I have the lightning, and I have the stun bomb all at once. But you can see those camels are kind of getting through. If you rushed me with those, I would actually have quite a bit of, of a problem with it, but he doesn't notice. So we're just going to keep it on the down low. Shh. And he won't notice, so it'll all be fine. Uh, I'm waiting to upgrade now, and at the same time upgrading my eco, because it's round 20 and I only have 600. Guys, this, this round for uh, eco was abysmal, I'm sorry. But hopefully uh, hopefully it ends up not mattering. You guys don't know the outcome yet. Obviously, I've already played this, so you can see there's no uh, camera here, because I this is a recorded one. And so uh, that's... that's uh, why I already know the outcome for this. I do some live commentaries, but not as much, just because it's it's a different beast, and this is something that I enjoy doing. But there are going to be a lot of live commentaries. All of my challenges are going to be live commentaries. So if you're if you're more into the live commentaries, check those out. Um, they're coming up soon, like I said, and they're great. So we're on round 21, chugging along, doing just fine. I have two rings of fire, so if they get past that, I mean, honestly, I'm screwed. If they get past both of those, there's nothing I can really do. But I have lightning going through, I have the uh, Flash Bomb Ninja. Sorry, my, my voice just cracked a little bit there. <laughs> um, so they're going along. You can see that a few do actually get through. It's not like I have an impenetrable defense. It's just a really good defense. At the same time, I've also been sending a lot of eco in these past couple rounds. Not enough, but I've been sending as much as I can. So we're just waiting. I'm going to get the Ring of Fire on this, and then I'll upgrade the range on all of them. But for now, I need a better defense. I would be attacking, but like I said, I need the better defense, so here we go. I finally got that Ring of Fire. I have all three now. Um, I'd like to put in a lot more, but for now we need to uh, worry about getting our eco up because we're so far behind on this eco. It is ridiculous. Now, the problem is, if there's a Moab that comes through, I got nothing. I mean, these are the, the Ring of Fire is really good for taking out balloons, not good at all for taking out Moabs. So you can see, um, I have those three, and the stun monkey, or the, the flash bomb ninja, isn't really going to do much to a Moab. And my lightning wizard isn't going to do a whole bunch to a Moab. He has two farms now, so I was worried that maybe he's going to send me something, but he seems to be content to go late game. And he's struggling a little bit too over there. You can see he's able to, to send stuff back, but at the same time, he doesn't have a lot of popping power. So you can see, here come all the camos on round 24. I don't really have a good answer to them. I'm just kind of hoping and trying not to lose too many lives. Um, I actually managed to get through all of them just because of the stun plus the uh, lightning. And here I figure I'll put in another stun monkey or uh, flash bomb ninja because it's so good um, with those rings of fire. So put that guy in. It's round 25 and uh, you can see my opponent's starting to really struggle now. In fact, they're, they're starting to get through. He boosts and he loses. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching and uh, have a wonderful day.